Drizzy's back. Just kidding. It's Mr. GK. I'm going to be myself today because I love myself. And more importantly, I love all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting the work parody to 3 million views already. That's crazy. And thank you especially for all the comments. I love reading them and I love responding as you can see. So let's keep that interaction going. Today's video is going to be all about the behind the scenes footage for the work parody. Some insane, funny stuff happened, and I'm going to be going scene by scene and talking about it all with you to let you know the GK perspective of what's going on. I'm ready for my Drake up, so in about five minutes, I'm going to come out looking even more like Drake. The first scene we're going to be talking about is a drinking scene with Riri. She actually had an empty whiskey bottle. It was filled with water, and she was chugging it pretty convincingly and acting like she was getting drunk out of it. And they asked me in this scene, to grab the bottle from her. And the funny thing that happened is I improv and chugged the whiskey myself and got a little messed up. Let's take a look at that. All right. All right, here we go. Nice. Drake, go up, grab it out of her hand. Take a second. <laughs> 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 I think we got it. We're moving the scene two now. For those of you who know me, know me, and eventually all of you will know me, know me, because we're a great network of friends and we're gonna take over the world together. I am a perfectionist. So what I did before the work parody is I studied the work video frame by frame, particularly for Drake's parts. And I looked at all of his motions and the timing. And I tried to mimic that in my performance. And what happened? I did my homework and I did kind of well. So here's my first take of the verse and I actually landed it and got so excited. And that's the take that ended up being used in the final video. Here it is. It's You're kind of got it. Reactive. Yeah, it doesn't matter, bro. I am only here to get some content from you. Every video, that's what I make a good do. While I make a dumb face and silly, try that go. Cool. Uh, 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 that was good. Dang, man. Really? Yeah, yo, yo, trip me. I'm ready. I'm ready. So you got the faces down. That's good, man. Yeah. That's All pretty right. good. Scene three. Scene three is called the Drake up scene. I didn't mention what it was in the actual behind the scenes video, but what Drake up is, is Drake and makeup mixed. So here's a Drake up. Now what happened to the Drake up is my beard is slightly thinner because I like that cool faded look. He has a grown in look right now. So we actually just darken the beard a little bit and you have Drizzy and we're ready to go. Ready to get that work. In this scene, the director asked me to creep on Riri. And I tried it, and I held the face for about 30 seconds, and then I finally just broke out of character and started laughing because it was so awkward. Check it out. Nice, nice. And look. <laughs> nice. Do that again. Sorry, not so loud. <laughs> Do that again. I'm so glad that Drake up is gone. It made my face feel heavy. I feel like I turned my head a little better now. Anyways, the time has come. Our final scene. This is the fifth scene. My top pick. I have to figure out which one is my fornication couch. Is it couch number one, couch number two, or couch number three? Where is it going down? Can you pretend to have sex on each of these and tell us? Drizzy Drake is going to test out the fornication couch. This is probably how it went out. Shoulders feel good. Waist is locked. Um, yeah, very boring sex is going to happen on this one, so we're not going to pick fornication couch. I don't know if Drake is as tall as I am, but if I try and... I feel like on this one you would go over. Far too large. Oh, that's not going to work. This could be it. Let's just test the middle of the cushion. Oh, and you know what's awesome about this one? If things get really wild, you just throw these off. You just throw everything everywhere. And I fit on this one a little bit. This is a fornication couch. Rihanna, I'm ready to work with you. Oh, they got the stains too. Oh no! Oh god! Action. Oh, sorry, I forgot we're doing this. By the way, um, I'm in San Francisco right now, and this is an awesome city. I'm gonna go check out the Golden Gate Bridge. I've never been there. Um, I don't know why I just shared that with you, but I'm on vacation, having a great time. But I'm still working while I'm away. Working hard always pays off. Uh, thank you all. Thanks for subscribing. My next video is gonna be a Q&A video. So if you have any questions about the work parody, I'm gonna be answering them. Leave them in the comments below or find me on social media at Mr. George Corey. And also thank you to Jasmine for having the patience to film this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Do you want
I'm only a two grand and I don't like to work, work, work.